Clearly, they have been ignoring these people. We're going to find out if it's because they were minorities. In the aftermath of a recent explosion at a Dunwoody apartment complex, attorneys representing the victims announced plans to file a lawsuit. One of the victims also shared her experience from that day. As our Valencia Jones reports, the allegations include several complaints that went unresolved. I was so scared. <laughs> I'm thankful to my dog for waking me up. 30-year-old Jasmine Johnson lived in Building 2 at the Arrive Perimeter since February. She never could have imagined what happened Sunday afternoon. It was a huge explosion and I was thrown into the wall. The explosion left four people injured and displaced several others. Stuart Miller Simmons trial attorneys represents Johnson and several other residents. They plan to sue the property. The complex and its management company, Trinity, uh, played Russian roulette with the lives of countless individuals, uh, countless minority individuals. They say residents complained about a gas odor long before the explosion. I had been smelling gas for two to three days. I thought it was coming from a car in the parking garage. Um, so to find out that it, it was causing something else is really disheartening. We find it really, really disturbing to know that they knew about this failed to do anything to prevent it, and then this explosion occurred. The city of Dunwoody shut the gas off on Monday after finding two leaks not associated with this incident. The fact that an apartment complex and their management company would not come out there and fix complaints of gas, which you know can lead to an explosion, is beyond reckless. The Cab County Fire and Rescue says it's not investigating the explosion since there was no fire. They say it's up to the property's insurance company to confirm if a gas leak officially caused it. I reached out a second time to the Arrive Perimeter Leasing Office and Property Management for comment. There was no immediate response. Valencia Jones, CW69 News. Construction on